What is up, everybody? Goddard here. Welcome back to the A-Side. And today, I have a, another album review for you. Another one coming from my friend, Bluma, who asked me to do this. Uh, once again, check out his channel. Um, <laughs> this, this album is called Fuck Love. And it's by a rapper named Kid Leroy. And he's kind of from this, I want to say SoundCloud, kind of emo trap scene of rappers uh, that have been coming up lately. And he put out an album this year. And I've been listening to it the last couple of days to prepare for this album. And I have to say, this is one of the most unoriginal rap albums I have ever heard. This man wants to be Juice World so badly. And it's so obvious from the minute you cue up the first track, um, maybe. You hear those guitars, you hear how he starts singing, you hear the hi-hats kick in, and it just sounds like he's trying to rip off Juice World. And that's all this album feels like to me, is a Juice World ripoff. He really likes Juice World, but he feels more like the generic brand of Juice World, like a, a liquefied fruit planet, if you will, is, is what we'll dub him. Like like Juice World, you go buy at Aldi or the dollar store. Um, not, not necessarily a great thing. Um, and the only thing really that sets him apart from Juice World is his voice. Not that he's trying not to sound like him, because he's trying very hard to sound like Juice World, but his voice is so nasally and, quite honestly, pretty obnoxious. It sounds like Steve Urkel doing a Juice World impression. Did I do that? Yes. You did, Leroy. You made a shitty rap album. Um, and most of this album just kind of bores me. I could not find myself getting into really any of these tracks at all, um, with the exception of one. The rest of them all sounded just like Juice World ripoffs. And on the track um, Go, he makes the fatal flaw of having Juice World on one of these tracks, I'm assuming he recorded before his death. Um, but having him on this track was a big mistake because Juice shows up and gives like a one minute, maybe 30 second verse, and it blows every single other thing out of the water because when you're just a cheap imitation, you don't want the real thing on the album because the real thing is just going to blow you away by comparison, and that's what happens when he has Juice on the track go. Um, overall, this album, like I said, is just very unoriginal, which is unfortunate because I think lyrically and thematically, it's not bad. It's, it tackles a lot of the same subjects that a lot of the SoundCloud emo rap does, the kind of themes of sadness and heartbreak, and I definitely resonate with that. I really like sad music, but the problem is the instrumentations and the production and the musical ideas and the musical identity that the kid, uh, Leroy, tries to bring is just not original. One of the most painfully unoriginal and boring albums I've ever heard. He's really trying to be Juice World, and I know Juice World is gone. We don't really need another one. He put out music. He has a legacy. Do your own thing. Um, the track that stood out to me was Same Thing, because I felt like this, out of all the tracks, gave me the most feeling of who the kid Leroy is. It didn't feel like a Juice World ripoff. I mean, it wasn't necessarily original, but it felt like more of his own style rather than trying to be Jared Higgins. Um, so I think that was a pretty solid track, and I liked Running as well. It took a bit to grow on me a couple times listening through it, but the dark beat and the strings did end up winning me over. But the rest of this album, I don't really have much good to say about it. Um, like I mentioned, Go earlier, it was a huge mistake to have Juice on this song because it just blew everything out of the water that he had tried on this album because in one minute, um, Juice World does everything that Leroy does, um, but a thousand times better. And then when you listen to comparison to that minute of Juice World, the rest of the album is just not there. Um, and that's all I really have to say about it is it just feels very unoriginal. Um, and the song Not Fair as well was pretty whack. This track features a guy named Corbin, and he is kind of singing with a lot of auto-tune and vocal effects, but the problem is, the auto-tune just sounds whack as fuck, and the production is terrible. Um, the super janky auto-tune just hurts to listen to. It sounds awful. His voice sounds terrible with it. I mean, what is this? The 1975? <laughs> I'm just not into it. Overall, not a great album, and I don't really have much to say about it, because it can all be summed up by the words, um, Juice World ripoff. That's all I get. And I know he was friends with Juice, and Juice kind of took him under his wing and kind of helped break him out. Um, but still, um, I feel like there's no artistic progression. I feel like he is just completely ripping off Juice World's sound. It's so unoriginal and so stale 
and it gets very boring to listen to because I could just go listen to Juice World or go listen to a thousand other sad albums I know when I'm heartbroken. You know, this is never going to be the one I pick. If it's your thing, that's cool. If you like the whole sad SoundCloud rap and you just listen to anything in the genre, go right ahead. Personally, I'm not a fan of it. Um, I'm feeling a 3 out of 10 on Fuck Love by the kid Leroy. Also, what a very edgy title, and that's coming from me, the literal king of edge. I'm so edgy that I almost fell off of it today, um, <laughs> and Fuck Love is a very edgy name, um, but I'm sure the incels will like it. Anyway, that's all I have today. I did not have much to say about this album. Um, I want to review a couple other things soon, so I'll be on the grind. Expect to hear me from me tomorrow, and I will see you all next time.